Hey friends, thanks for stopping by. I created this magic shaker card using Lawn Farms Building Aquarium along with um, ocean themed stem sets. And the magic shaker is something I learned from Jennifer McGuire. And she did a whole tutorial on these type of cards. And I will link to her video in the description box. So let's get started by showing you the supplies I've used. The first is the Simply Celebrate More Critters set, the Your Sublime set, the Ocean Shelfie set, I Like You A Lot, Dana, Keep On Swimming, and Mermaid For You, as well as Harold's ABCs. And of course, the Build an Aquarium die set. So let's get started. I have already prepared all the items that I plan to use. Uh, this is the frame of the aquarium. I cut it six times from heavyweight white cardstock to build the frame of our shaker. And I start by gluing three pieces together to form two stacks. This will eventually get glued together, but for now we need the two stacks. The background for my aquarium um, is this piece of light pink watercolor wishes paper. And I have a piece of uh, medium weight acetate to serve as the window for a shaker. And for a clean look, I also cut the frame from pearlescent vellum. These are the bottom and the top of the aquarium cut from white cardstock. And for the sand, I chose to use a silver glitter cardstock. And now I'll start with gluing three of those frames together. And since I'm a very slow crafter, I will use video magic to skip ahead. And this is what the first frame looks like. And I set it aside to dry, putting, putting something heavy on top of it. And then I will repeat the, this process for the, for the other three frame pieces. And ta-da! This is the second part of our shaker wall. After the glue dried, I can attach the sand piece behind one of the frame stacks. And after that's dry, I can adhere my background piece for the aquarium. And while this is drying, we can prepare the magic part of our shaker. And for this, I'm using this transparent nylon thread. I'm trying to make it visible with a black piece of cardstock. And my magic shaker pieces are this uh, fish and seahorse. And I cut both from heavyweight cardstock so that I can sandwich my thread between these two pieces of paper. And since a die cut pieces sometimes have a rough edge at the back, I'm smoothing this out with a bone folder. Uh, otherwise, you can run it through your die cutting machine upside down. Um, this will do the same job. Um, to attach my thread to the images, I'm using double sided adhesive tape, placing it at the back of the stamped image, and then making sure that everything is straight, I attach the string and then put another piece of double-sided tape on top to secure it there. And then I will attach the second die cut image, the white one, on top using liquid glue. And here's our first magic shaker piece. Now I'm repeating the same steps for the seahorse to form our second magic shaker piece. The background and frame piece part is all set now and I can trim off the overhanging pieces. And then we can start to build our mechanism. I'm using eighth inch double-sided tape and I'm laying out, roughly laying out my images 
um, to determine where I want to have my two magic shaker pieces. And after that's done, I will apply the adhesive to the thicker part of the frame, so the inner part of the frame, at the top and the bottom, and remove the release paper. And now we will stick the nylon thread to this exposed adhesive, and then secure it with another piece of this tape. So and this is what this looks like. So our string is attached to the top part of the frame. And now we need to secure the, the bottom part of the thread. But we don't want to have, a, have it straight down because now our shaker piece can't move. So what we will do, we will move it to the side. So we, we determine the range of motion and then we will stick it down. By doing so, we will make sure the image can move, but it won't drop down to the bottom. So it will just move from left to right. And then I will repeat the same step for the second image for the seahorse, starting um, by securing it at the top part of the frame and then moving it to the left to determine where exactly I want to attach my bottom part of, this, of the thread and secure it between two pieces of tape to enable the seahorse to move from left to right. So now both of my images can move from left to right, but they don't drop to the bottom. I can cut off the excess of thread and the ends of the thread will be covered by the, the top and the bottom piece of the aquarium that we will eventually attach. And now I'm adding all of my images using liquid glue and making sure that it is well adhered so that the shaker pieces that we will put in our aquarium won't get stuck at them. And after that's done, I can attach the second part of my shaker wall. And by doing it this way, um, the two sh magic shaker images are right in the center of that wall. So this is why I prepared two stacks, which I now glue together. And this is what it looks like. And before adding my shaker bits, I used some anti-static powder uh, with milk paintbrush. Now I'm starting to fill my shaker using these tiny jewels, some larger jewels, and this pink shaker mix by Buttons Galore. And finally, a bit of uh, Lawn Fonts Chunky Glitter. To seal the shaker, I'm using 8 inch double sided adhesive tape and I'm placing it around all four sides of the three shaker compartments. And I used some liquid glue for the skinny parts at the bottom and the top. And then adding my acetate piece. And after that's adhered, I can cut off any extra that is overhanging. Now for our decorative top, um, I cut the frame from pearlescent vellum. And to adhere that to the aquarium, I decided to first adhere it to the back of the two white pieces, the bottom and the top of the aquarium, uh, using liquid glue. Um, to hold these skinny parts in place, I decided to use a vellum adhesive. I applied it just to these skinny parts 
and for the for the top and the bottom I used double sided adhesive and then adhered the whole piece to my aquarium. Since the aquarium is not wide enough to fit the whole row of critters, I cut the shellfish off, um, cleaned the edges, and then I will eventually place her at the bottom of the aquarium. And that completes our Magic Shaker Aquarium. To stamp my sentiment into the speech bubbles, I used Harold's ABCs and raspberry ink. And then I just used a block to stamp the individual letters into the individual bubbles. Uh, since I knew I had to cut down my row of critters, I prepared my speech bubbles accordingly. So by masking, I created a row of four speech bubbles and an, and an individual one. And it fits perfectly, the pun sentiment, thank you. I prepared a standard white card base and used the largest of the outside in-stitched rectangles to cut both this pink dotted piece from the stripes and sprinkles petite paper pack and this pink paper from the sweater weather remix pad. Um, I cut a pink piece down to surface a floor piece and I also cut a skinny off-white strip uh, to place between the two pink papers. After adhering the floor piece and this skinny stripe to the dotted paper using liquid glue, I adhered my aquarium also using liquid glue and then for my row of critters I used 3 millimeter foam tape to level it with the aquarium. I cut a row of speech bubbles six times from heavyweight cardstock and glued them together so they have the same height uh, as the aquarium. Then I adhered my stamped row of speech bubbles on top and adhered that to the top of my card panel. Then I adhered my panel to the prepared card base using liquid glue. And finally, adhering the individual speech bubble next to the shellfish using double-sided adhesive. And this completes my card. I really hope you liked the video and that it inspired you. And I thank you very, very much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.